What's up guys, this is Mike from Terrestrial Imaging and in this video I'm going to give you a brief introduction of the Blue Vigil RS1000 tether system and we're also going to set it up for the DJI Matrice 210. To put it simply, the Blue Vigil RS1000 is essentially a big giant extension cable for your drone. So it comes in this really nice Pelican case and what you get is 150 meters of this cable that plugs directly into your drone and powers it, which essentially gives you unlimited flight time. Uh, it allows you to carry out flights that are much longer than that you know, 35 minute to 40 minute uh, maximum flight time. And the way the case gets power, it's real simple. This power cord uh, plugs into an AC power outlet, such as a generator or a wall outlet. And so real quick, what I'll do is I'll turn this on and show you um, how it works and what to expect from it. I'm going to go ahead and power it on. The way you power it on is the simple on off switch and all you need uh, to set up the actual tether system in the case itself is a connection to an AC power outlet. And once it's on, the way it works is you take this end of it and we'll show you in more detail. Uh, you essentially clip this to a, a brace on the bottom of the drone to make sure that the tension is pulling not where the uh, cable connects to the power source on the drone, but instead over here. And what it does is it keeps tension on throughout the whole flight, because if it didn't have tension, the wire would basically be hanging loose and potentially get caught in the propellers. So the way this system works, it's very smart. As you pull, as the drone flies away from it, goes up, you know, any direction, it, uh, it will again keep that tension and spool out just enough and it's not too tight. You can feel that it won't pull the drone, uh, it won't affect the flight characteristics, and as you go down, as you get closer to the system, it, uh, it goes back and spools into the tether system. Now that we know what the RS1000 tether system is, we're going to go ahead and set it up for use with the DJI Matrice 210. So right here, we already have a setup fully uh, configured and this is what we're going to be making. We have two kits uh, that have all these pieces and so the pieces you see are a TB55 battery that's been modified, the uh, battery power adapter, a spacer, battery replacement module holder, battery replacement module, um, and then on the battery rep replacement module you have the connection cable for the tether and then a connection cable that uh, plugs into the battery adapter. So again, we have all the pieces and we're gonna go through the setup and how to assemble them all together so that way you can use your Blue Vigil RS1000 with the DJI Matrice 210. So we're gonna start with the DJI accessory kit. In this kit, you're going to get the M200 brace. And this is where we're gonna start. This goes in the bottom of the aircraft. An accessory kit that comes with clips and a strap for this brace. This piece, which is right below the M200 brace, is for an Inspire 2 if you're using the Inspire 2, but we're going to put this to the side because obviously we're using a Matrice 210. Um, here you have the battery replacement module um, adapter. This is where the battery replacement module is going to sit on. We have the TB50 slash TB55 uh, power adapter. And then this is a spacer that is essential when you're using a TB55 battery. And so we're gonna be using a TB55 battery because we have the DJI Matrice 210 version two, and that aircraft does not work with the TB50 batteries. So again, we're gonna start with the M200 brace that goes on the bo bottom of the aircraft and the accessory kit. So this is a little baggy. So we're gonna put everything else to the side. So what you wanna do is there's a little hole in the uh, brace. So we wanna go in the bag and get the, the strap. So that's the clip and we want this little strap. And so you're gonna thread it through and then you're gonna thread it through the hook on the end of the other side. So it should look like that. 
And once we have that done, what we're going to do is we're going to flip our drone over. And there's two factory screws that we need to remove. This one and this one. And the brace comes with two screws also. So you're going to want to use the screws that come with the brace. And so, and then you also want the blue vigil symbol facing the front of the drone. And we're going to mount it like that. So I'm going to go ahead, remove those screws, and then mount the uh, mounting brace. And so that's it. That's what it should look like on the bottom of the aircraft. Um, this component you could actually leave on the drone whether you're using the tether system or not um, and it won't affect the way it sits in the case or anything else. Now that we have the mounting bracket on the bottom of the M210, uh, next we're going to start assembling the other pieces. And so one thing that doesn't come in the kit that you'll need is a modified TB55 battery. And so although we're using the tether system to power the drone, DJI's drones are so sophisticated, you still need to have two batteries uh, in the copter to make it happy so that way you could fly. If you don't have the two batteries, it won't take off. And so this whole kit is based around uh, one mo modified battery, and then the other side of the aircraft is gonna have a regular battery. And the modification to the battery, uh, you won't have to worry about this when you purchase from Terrestrial Imaging. We'll make sure that this is done for you and it's done properly. And basically what it is, is we remove a section of the rails to compensate for the um, battery adapter, which uh, pushes the battery further out from the, from the copter. All right, so we'll start assembling the pieces onto the modified TB55 battery. So we'll start with the power adapter. And what we have is we have a male and female end. And so we're gonna plug the male end into the adapter on the battery. Plug it in. And so this side, the rail side should be flush, and then the cable should be sticking on, out on the outside of the battery, not the inside. Once we have that in, you'll see the power adapter has two brass uh, threads. And so what we have is four screws in the, in the accessory kit. So we'll put the rings to the side, and then we have these four screws. And then next, we take the spacer, and you'll see on the spacer you have two holes and then two uh, brass threads. What we're gonna do is we're gonna line up the holes with the brass threads on the power adapter, like that. And the extruding side needs to be facing the battery, not uh, the cable. So once we have it set up right, we just drop the screws in, and we'll start screwing them in with the threads. So the next step is we're going to take our battery replacement module, which is in a separate box. We're going to open it up, and that's this whole assembly. And we're going to add it to the battery assembly. And so if you look at this piece closely, you'll notice one side has rails, while the other side does not. And so what we're going to do is this is the top of the battery replacement module mount. We're going to slide with the rail side the uh, tether cable side up and so what, you really want to make sure that you have this lined up correctly and so yeah first try I don't and now it's uh, lined up you're gonna hear a click once it's all the way at the top and it should fit really snug in the battery replacement mount and so once we have that installed properly you want to test it make sure that it's uh, secured and then we're gonna plug the two yellow cables together like that, and that completes the setup uh, of the whole entire assembly I showed you in the beginning of the video. 
And this essentially replaces your back left battery. This assembly can only fit in the back left of the Matrice 200 or 210. Um, and again, replaces the battery. This is what will hook up to the tether system. And then on the other side of the drone, you're gonna put a regular TB55 battery that has not been uh, cut or uh, modified or assembled with any other components. All right, with everything assembled, we're gonna go ahead and install the batteries. I'm also gonna talk about removing them uh, as there's some important points that you need to know and be aware of. So if you're facing the back of the drone, on the right side, you're gonna install a regular TB55, like I already mentioned. And so this is, should install the same way any other Matrice 210 battery uh, should, and it should feel the same. And then again, if you're facing the back of the drone, the left side is going to have the modified assembly. And so this, you may have to press a little bit harder uh, to get it in there. You're also, you're gonna hear the same click that you do uh, with the regular battery. And once you have it in, it's really important with the modified battery to double check, try to pull it back a little bit and make sure that it's uh, fit in there snug. And so really important, uh, when you go to remove these batteries, uh, a regular TB55 battery you'll see on the right side will eject and spring out. The one on the left, the modified battery, will not. So the way to remove this one is you're gonna wanna keep your hand, uh, you're gonna wanna keep that button pressed down and pull out at the same time. And it should slide out fairly easily. Uh, and you're gonna wanna pull it by the battery too. And you're also gonna wanna make sure that everything comes out with it. So again, it's really important to know um, when removing these batteries is that the uh, modified one on the left side, it won't spring out. And so just be aware of that and make sure that button's held down. All right, so after we went over the batteries, uh, I put them back in. And the last step is to hook up the drone with the modified battery to the tether system. So on the end of the tether cable, uh, you have the plug. And it has a little cap. You just obviously undo the cap. Uh, and you take the plug on this side and you just match them together. There's only one way that they could fit in. And so you may have to rotate them together until they fit in like that. And then you have a quarter quarter turn lock, that'll lock it and hold it in place. Make sure that doesn't come undone. And then really crucial, on the bottom, the mounting bracket we installed earlier, I put a clip on here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this clip and attach the other side to uh, any one of these metal components uh, on this little piece right here. And so I'm gonna uh, mount it to the ring. And this is crucial because it switches the tension from the connector over here to down here. So that way as the drone's moving, um, this cannot unplug. Therefore, uh, you know, you're safe to fly and you're flying with unlimited power. And that's it guys. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in the RS1000 tether system for the DJI Matrice 210, a link to our store is in the description below. That includes everything uh, such as the TB55 modified battery. And be sure to make your next drone purchase at Terrestrial Imaging for the best support in the industry.